In today's Hometown Live, we're going to the Aerosol Warfare Gallery and Boutique in the Edo section of town. Of course, that's the place just east of downtown. That's kind of the hip way to say it, right? <laughs> did you say Aerosol Warfare Gallery and Boutique? I think I did. There's a new exhibit featuring a bunch of uh, local artists there. Sonia Azad takes a look at the Blow Up Houston exhibit. Sonia, explain this all to us. Okay, you guys. Well, there are about 50 dolls that make up this exhibit. Each one is nine inches tall, but as you will see, there is a lot of creativity packed into a very small space. They look like an army of robots just out of uniform. They're called blow-up dolls, but not the kind you probably remember from childhood. These have bomb-shaped heads and pin grenade accessories. They're handcrafted by regular folks from all over Houston who stretched their minds to come up with fancy figurines. Every artist started at the same starting point, um, which was a blank doll. Gonzo247 is the founder of the Aerosol Warfare Gallery, an old-school graffiti head from the East End. He's drifted from spray paint to this stuff, known as urban vinyl. After a while, someone figured out, you know what, um, if I can draw this flat, what if I made it three-dimensional, created a toy, and gave it my own look and style, and, and it just took off from there. And it took off in several directions. This doll is a political statement about the upheaval in Iran. This one, a music box, and this one, made by an eight-year-old. Shrimp and algae live inside this one. My artist's name is Good Happens. Chrissy Figueroa is an Eastside native and high school counselor. Her doll incorporates a new wave in arts called urban crafting, a hip twist to needlepoint, embroidery, and crochet. Crocheting the dress, her shoes are crocheted, and her hair and her little hat are crocheted as well. It took her 18 hours and about five bucks to create her doll named Rizzo. She kind of looks like a wholesome little schoolgirl, I think, in the middle of uh, a few renegades. <laughs> and that's kind of how I guess I envision myself, so it works out well. With no rules or limits on creativity, Gonzo says this exhibit is one that will surely blow your mind. We've got our finger on the pulse and we're trying to show Houston, look, there's a lot of cool stuff out there. Come check it out and get exposed to something that you might not normally get exposed to in town. Okay, and I have to show you guys my favorite doll. Look, it's a piñata. Get it? <laughs> it's adorable. Now, guess what? These are all actually for sale. They are. Uh, they, they range in price. The most expensive one is $1,200, but you don't have to buy one to come and check it out. So this exhibit lasts through the end of the month. We'll have that information for you on our website. That's abc13.com. And Sonia, I don't know when uh, when you guys were talking. Did he kind of did Gonzo let on where he gets his inspiration or his creativity for all this stuff? Uh, you know, he's been doing it. He's been an artist all of his life. So he talked about growing up here in Houston as an artist, and it just kind of evolved from there. It's really amazing. Okay, I feel like I just hallucinated for a couple minutes. Some interesting <laughs> stuff out there, Sonia. Thank you very much. Interesting exhibit.